Because we're talking about the fiscal cliff. Moving and shaking this morning is Warren Buffett. With just five weeks until the scheduled so-called fiscal cliff of $600 billion in tax increases and spending cuts, Charlie Rose sat down with Buffett to gauge what he thinks will happen in January. I don't think it'll do that much because I think people will assume that uh, a solution will be found quite promptly. It's a little like the debt ceiling uh, question. I mean, people, know, the rest of the world may think that we're idiotic at times, but they don't think we're going to commit suicide. And and uh, I, so I think if, I, I hope something gets worked out before January 1st, but if, if it goes a little bit beyond that, I do not so think So what is January 10th or, or February 2nd? I, I will not be selling stuff. If you guaranteed me that the fiscal cliff, we would go past that, I wouldn't sell a share of stock today. Well, that's a pretty bold assessment from Buffett, who, of course, believes very heavily that investors should be all in in equities. Now, uh, Adam, you have a different take on this. Well, I, I think the fiscal cliff is a big deal, but I, I tend to agree that there'll be some resolution. I think the Morgan Stanley House call is they'll probably come up with a plan, but it'll be pushed out probably six months before you get the final details of it. So I think the question is... So wait, so does that mean that we'll go over the cliff they, or not? They, they probably will alert you that they're going to deal with it over the next six months, but won't have all the details worked out. So look, the way, the way we see it, it's about a 500 basis points impact on the economy if they don't solve it that likely they're going to temper about 350 basis points, 3.5%. Off GDP you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, so you have a 1.5% GDP headwind, which is a lot, but things like housing are picking up and, and durables and autos. So we have the Morgan Stanley forecast is for about the same GDP growth in 2013 as we have in 2012. So, so does that we don't see it a huge impact uh, the way it currently fleshes out, so we tend to agree with that conclusion. Well, but, so, but, but his conclusion is, look, I wouldn't sell one single stock right. if we even went over the cliff. Yeah. Is that a bit? Well, I think he probably has um, uh, longer holding periods than the average investor, so he can he can see through it. I think the Pavlovian reaction from the street will be a little more negative. You know, he gave an example of debt ceiling. Uh, you know, the market sold off when that happened, then Incredibly recovered afterwards. Off, so yes. I think he's saying, look, I'll hold it all the way through to the recovery point more than he's saying it'll be super, ne you know, it'd be great the day they do it. I, I, I wouldn't imagine the market would act great the, the first day. No, uh, and that's yeah. what a lot of people are predicting. <laughs>